Hello, everyone, and welcome to California <laughs> Live. Ladies, how are you? I know it's day two of social distancing. Good, got my coffee. <laughs> I know, it's like, I kind of almost don't know what to do. I haven't been at home this long, for a long you know, time. It's, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. I think I was okay yesterday. We'll see how I'm holding up today, but even right. though we need to keep our social distance, you know, we are not live on television every weekday, but we still kind of want to stay connected to all of you guys out there during these crazy times, right? Yeah, you know, Absolutely. the silver lining. Yeah, and the silver lining here is that we're all connected every day that we get to see each other, which yeah. really, really helps out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like I've talked to Malou more in the last two days than I have in the last year. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I know, it's so true. And, and, and not only that, I mean, I think we all want to empower all of you to do the same thing, you know, stay connected with your friends and family through virtual ways, whether it's, you know, applications or your phone. But when we started California Live, our goal was really to give you something every day that would make your life a little bit better. And I think I can honestly say that we all need that more. Right now. <laughs> Yeah, totally. I'm with you guys. So, you know, of course, we're going to be showing you some things that you can do to have some fun and then some things that you can do to protect yourself and your families. So why don't we just kick things off right now with our favorite nurse who's got a list of goods that can really <laughs> your immune system. Oh, I love it. I'm at Hotel Via in San Francisco, and we're talking about ways to help you boost your immunity. And Nurse Barb is here to tell us all about that. Great to see you. Oh, Malou, it's great to be here. All right, so what, what can you use? What should you do? Well, we all know that zinc works to help boost your immunity, but I don't know if you've been out to any of the stores, you can't find it. Everything's out. That's right. And zinc is found in animal products like milk and eggs, but what if you're a vegetarian? What are you going to do? Yeah, exactly. What are you going to do? But before we get to what if you're a vegetarian, how much milk should you have and how many eggs should you have? Well, I'd like you to get three glasses of milk a day. It helps with your bones and it's full of protein. And about two eggs per week is probably safe for most people, but check with your own healthcare provider if you're not sure. All right, so for vegetarians, what can they do? Well, guess what? <sighs> Pumpkin seeds are loaded with zinc, as are almonds and cashews, and I bought these all. We're not selling out, so this is a great way for you to boost your immunity and get plenty of protein. And getting plenty of protein is also important for your immune system. All right, what's with the honey here? Well, a lot of people think that honey is an antibacterial, but it's not. Honey helps quiet your cough at night, and it's really great for kids, but it does not kill bacteria. All right, so other ways to stay healthy and to boost your immunity, you have to do some other things and get rid of some other things too, right? Like That's right. So I have a glass of Chardonnay here. Now is not the time to drown your sorrows with Chardonnay or a lot of alcohol because it really reduces your immune system's ability to fight off infection. Yeah, what about smoking? Oh, don't smoke, especially now with the coronavirus and other viruses, smoking is not a good idea. And a lot of people are social smokers. That means they're out with a friend and maybe they have a half a cigarette or one cigarette. Now is the time to stop. It's not good for your lungs in any case, but especially now. Exercise too. Oh yeah, you want to get outside, get yeah. some fresh air and exercise. And when you're outside exercising, you have social distance, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's a good idea for your immune system. All right, some other foods that are high in zinc. Oh. So other foods that are high in zinc are meat, chicken, and um, pork. Okay, all right, so the proteins. All the proteins. All right, and then garlic is good too? Oh, garlic is great. You know, a lot of Italians, I, I'm Italian, right? <laughs> and so we know that garlic is a great antioxidant, and I know my grandmother used to wear it around her <laughs> neck, and that kept people away. That was the social distance. Yeah, ginger's good too? Oh my gosh, I love carrot ginger soup. Now's the time to make that because it's an antioxidant, and antioxidants help your immune system as does turmeric. I think a lot of people are familiar with this. All right, so who should be wearing the masks? Oh gosh, you know, the only people who should wear a mask are people who are already sick, right? Because it keeps the germs inside the mask. The problem is a lot of people think that the mask protects them against other people, but when they take them off, they're touching it, uh, they're getting contaminated. Yeah. So All right. please don't wear a mask unless you yourself are sick. All right, Nurse Barb, thank you very much. And as always, just keep remembering to wash your hands, right? Wash your hands, wash your hands, 20 full seconds, every single surface. Thanks, Malou, for reminding me. Thank you. You guys, I love Nurse Barb. She just brings this joyful, happy vibe to every situation. I know. Yeah, she does. <laughs> yeah, we learn something from her all the time, and you know, Jess, I see that you're going to teach us all uh, how you're going to have a little bit of fun in the kitchen making some bread at home. Oh, Ooh. man. Well, Malou, the way things are going at the grocery stores, I mean, I was just there the other day, maybe three days ago, and there was no bread anywhere. And of course, that 
in that particular moment, I wanted a sandwich really bad. You know, when you can't have something, <laughs> I, you know, took it upon myself to make bread at home because I said, if I can't buy it, I'm going to make it. So I'm going to show you a simple recipe. Take some time, but it's delicious. So today I'm going to show you how to make fresh bread from scratch. That's right. You don't need a bread machine. All you need is your stove and all the ingredients. Now I know you've been going to the grocery store lately and if you're panicking because everyone is out of bread, have no fear, I'm gonna show you how to make your own bread. So I'm gonna show you how to make brioche bread which happens to be one of my favorite types of breads because it's sweeter, it's softer, and it makes the best French toast. Plus you can use it for sweet dishes or non-sweet dishes. All right, so we have our ingredients. Eggs, vanilla, yeast, unsalted butter, salt, sugar, flour, and milk, or you can use water if you want. Now, the most important thing that you need is a scale. Trust me, you don't want to scoop out your flour because it always yields different results. So just measure out your ingredients. So let's get started. knead it for 20 minutes, you're then going to incorporate the butter and the salt and knead it again for another 20 minutes. So the whole process probably takes about 45 minutes to an hour. It can get painful, you gotta put some muscle into it. So if you happen to have a bread machine, even better, you can start it in the bread machine so that the bread machine can knead it and then you can finish it off in the stove. All right, so after you are done kneading, you're gonna let it rise for one hour. So you wanna put it into your grease bowl, cover it, put it in a warm spot in the kitchen, maybe in your stove with the lights on or somewhere in a corner. Um, you're gonna let it rise for an hour and then after that, you're going to shape it and then put it into the refrigerator and let it refrigerate for up to 24 hours. I refrigerated it overnight. If you are in a pinch and you don't want to refrigerate, you can completely skip that step and put it into your grease loaf pan and then bake it. So, we took it out of the fridge. We're going to shape it. You wanna grease your hands because this bread or this dough can get really sticky. And then you're going to shape it. Put it in your loaf pan that's already been greased. And then you're going to stick it in your preheated oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes, and you're gonna bake it. All right, so after the 20 minutes, or until you notice that it's golden brown on top, then you wanna take it out, cool. and make sure the internal temperature is 185, because you wanna make sure that the dough is actually fully cooked. I tented it with foil, so that I made sure that it didn't burn about halfway through. And then you wanna let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes before you slice it, and then you can enjoy it. So. This is such a great way to incorporate your kids um, into making the bread. They can measure the ingredients or stir or help you make the bread and then you all get to enjoy it together and it's, uh, you get to reap the benefits of making bread at home. So, are you ready to enjoy it? Um, I want to eat it a hundred times. A hundred times! All right, we're gonna eat it a hundred times. So, enjoy! Enjoy! <laughs> Look at you, DIY Jess, with the bread. I'm waiting for my delivery right now. <laughs> well, we're gonna be waiting, Danny, because I think there's maybe one slice left. <laughs> so good. So I'm gonna have to make another loaf and I'll send you guys one. Yeah, that's nice. All right, so I know that we've taken everyone out uh, to a lot of great places over the past year. Unfortunately, we're not able to go out as much, uh, but Amber says many of them are open for some grub to go. Hey everyone, so if you're stuck in the house and you need a little bit of a break, I encourage you to go out in your neighborhood and see which restaurants have takeout and delivery. The thing about that is it gives you some really good exercise, but it also really supports your local restaurants that really need it right now. Now, a few of the restaurants that we featured on California Live that also have takeout and delivery are first, No Valley Bakery. This is up in San Francisco. They have some great pastries and treats, but keep in mind they are only takeout for now, so go check them out. If you're down in Los Angeles, we featured Treos Tacos, and they have every option you can imagine. Shrimp tacos, carne asada tacos, burritos, they have everything. Now, 
if you're looking for some pizza, we featured Lucifer's Pizza and this place is so amazing. They're doing takeout as well. They have like a prosciutto and pumpkin pizza. Like, how cool is that? And last but not least, I want you to check out Tokaya Organica. They have great options as well, including some really healthy options like a salad bowl, which I plan on getting because they're right here on the west side and they're also down in San Diego. So let's go eat up. If you guys have any ideas about anything that's fun, anything to take the stress away, anything to make your days a little easier, let us know. We want to hear. Yeah. We're here for you. <laughs> exactly. And you know, like Danny said, just send us your videos to our website at NBCCALive.com. Remember, we are all in this together and we'll come out of it much stronger. I think so. Stronger than ever, actually. So um, have a great day, everyone. Ladies, have a great day. Don't go crazy. We have lots of fun tips and tricks and ideas for you. So we'll see you all tomorrow. See you. Bye. 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 <laughs>